YouTube intros are actually the worst thing in the world, so I'm not going to do one. But instead, we are going to be looking at the Mandela effect today. I guess that was kind of an intro. If you don't know what the Mandela effect is, it's basically when you misremember certain attributes about something for whatever reason. And the reason they call it the Mandela effect is because a lot of people thought that Nelson Mandela died in prison in 1980s, when in reality, he died of a respiratory disease with his family in 2013. So I found a lot of cool quizzes online, so we're gonna take a couple to see if we truly can overcome the Mandela effect. Let's do this. Okay, Buzzfeed, can you pass this Mandela effect memory test? I'd hope so. First up, we have which is correct, Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? I actually don't know. Well, let's think of this logically. Looney Tunes implies Looney Cartoons, and Looney Tunes with the U implies Looney Musical Tunes. Pretty sure this is tunes like cartoons, right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? The first one we're getting wrong already? Why would it even be called tunes? I don't even think they sing a single song in the show. I don't think I ever properly processed that in my brain, so I don't think I misremembered that. I just don't think I ever actually remembered it in the first place. Which is correct, Coca-Cola with a hyphen or Coca-Cola no hyphen? I used to drink a good amount of Coca-Cola, and I could tell you right now that Coca-Cola has a hyphen. I was about 60% positive on that one, but we'll take it. Next up, which is correct, JCPenney with no E or JCPenney with an E? JCPenney, there used to be one in my mall. They had like Macy's, Lord & Taylor, Nordstrom's, and JCPenney. And I do remember there was an E at the end of JCPenney, so I'm going to go with JCPenney with an E. Okay, all right, good little comeback here, 66%, not bad. Which is correct, Febreze with two E's or Febreze with one E? So everybody knows Febreze, you've probably used it a couple times. Phonetically, it should be with two E's, but I think that that's the play, that they only actually have one E, and it's gonna be the one on the right. They both look right, if I'm being honest, but I think it's gotta be the one with one E. Got the first one wrong, but we're moving on. Which is correct? Fruit Loops or Fruit Loops? So is it fruit spelled correctly or is it F-R-O-O-T? To me, it only makes sense that it's double O because it looks significantly less cool if you're spelling out the word fruit. If I was like a marketer and I was doing some psychology research, I think it would be better to have more Fruit Loops on the screen. So I'm thinking it's Fruit Loops with two O's. I'm going for it. Let's go. That was more of like a psychology play there. I didn't actually remember it. Which is correct, the Berenstain Bears or the Berenstain Bears? I think this is the Berenstain Bears. This is one that like people always talk about and I'm not sure which one they say is the correct one, but just me thinking about it, I think it's the Berenstain Bears, not the Berenstain. Berenstain, I feel like is the correct one. Not bad. All right, which is correct, Oscar Meyer or Oscar Mayer? Oscar Meyer. I think it's Oscar Meyer, but I feel like it's spelled with an A. Oscar Meyer is like baloney, right? Listen, if my back was against the wall and I had to make a call here, I would probably go Oscar Meyer with an A. We only got one wrong so far, right? Which is correct. Sex and the City? Sex in the City. Admittedly, I've never watched this show before. Well, maybe in passing or something like that. I think it's sex and the city. The show has like multiple themes. It's not just about like sex in the city. So I'm gonna go ahead and say sex and the city. Killing it. Which is the real Monopoly man? Does he have a monocle or does he not have a monocle? So I actually remember this one, which is weird because it's like, I remember misremembering it and therefore I remember. So I remember that the monocle is actually not true. So he doesn't have a monocle. I think what the psychology behind this one is, is that Mr. Peanut, the planter's peanut guy, he has a monocle. And so when you see the two, you automatically think of, oh, wealthy guy must have a monocle but he doesn't have a monocle. I should teach a class on this. Which is correct, Chick-fil-A. Oh, you are not gonna get me wrong on this one. This is 1000% Chick-fil-A with the K. I've spelled this out so many times in group chats across America. Hey, let's go to Chick-fil-A. Hey, let's go to Chick-fil-A. I've been riding the Chick-fil-A train for years. I know for a fact there's a K. That one was just free. All right, next up we have Kit Kat with a hyphen or Kit Kat with no hyphen. This is a little embarrassing because I had a Kit Kat the other day and I don't remember if it had a hyphen or not, but what I can tell you from the packaging is that it looks a little bit weird with the hyphen in between. I think it's a bit more natural if you go no hyphen, so I'm gonna go ahead and say Kit Kat no hyphen. 
Let's go, baby. Which is the actual Pikachu? I don't think Pikachu has black on its tail. Yeah, let's not overthink this one. I think it's just going to be Pikachu number one here. Oh, let's go. 11 out of 12. You scored better than 99% of the quiz takers. All right, let's move it on. Let's do another one. If there's a duplicate, I'll just skip it. Which is the correct name of the cereal? Do we have Captain Crunch or Captain Crunch? Okay. So is it abbreviated or is it not abbreviated? I don't think it's Captain Crunch. If I was on the marketing team, I'd be mad if this was our actual name. Let's go Cap'n Crunch. Woo! What is Jigsaw's signature line in the Saw movies? I don't know. These are all the same to me. Want to play a game? I want to play a game. Do you want to play a game? I don't really, like, think about the exact verbiage Jigsaw is using. I don't really watch the movie for that. I think it's, do you want to play a game? I feel like he's more so, like, asking them. Because it's not a statement. Because he's basically saying hey, you can exit this situation if you play the game. So I'm thinking it's either one or three. I'm trying to think of Jigsaw on his stupid tricycle riding in about to say what he's going to say. Okay, I'm going to go with do you want to play a game? Because I feel like if they're trying to reach an international audience, the word wanna isn't really conducive to that. So I think it's got to be the third one. It was a statement, I want to play a game. Oh, what a dick, he doesn't even ask them. All right, what is the correct name of the correction fluid? Kind of a weird thing to call it. Do we have whiteout or whiteout? I actually have no idea. I think it's whiteout with the H. I don't know, I've used this so little. I don't really make mistakes, you know? So it's like, what one was it? This one's a true toss up. Are you kidding me? Okay, pick the correct target logo. Oh, you know I know this one. The one on the right just looks so bad. It looks so bad. It can't be that. That looks like an actual target. This one looks like the logo. Dope. What is the name of the actual airline? Is it Alaskan Airlines or is it Alaska Airlines? I've admittedly never flown Alaskan Airlines, but I'm pretty positive it's Alaskan Airlines. Or am I? I'm like 90% positive it's Alaskan Airlines. And sometimes that 10% is right. I've never heard of this once, the laughing cow. They want to know basically if it has the ring in the nose. So I think only bulls have the thing in their nose. So if it's going to be a cow, it shouldn't have this, right? So let's go no. Oh, let's go. The logic was right too. Looks like I'm a cow expert. What's that word, bovine? I'm a bovine expert. How do you spell this saint's name? Mother Teresa or Mother Teresa with an H? Uh, this is definitely Mother Teresa with no H. Definitely. I know this one for a fact. Yeah. What is the correct name of the entertainment center or restaurant? Is it Chuck E. Cheese's or Chuck E. Cheese? I kind of cheated. I looked at this logo right here and it says Chuck E. Cheese. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it's Chuck E. Cheese with the apostrophe. I think this is Chuck E. Cheese's, and people just call it Chuck E. Cheese. Good thing I went with my gut there. What is the color of Tony the Tiger? Oh, the color of his nose, okay. Um, I don't know, actually, that's a good question. So anatomically, it would make sense if he had a black nose. I don't know why his nose would be blue. That would just be some marketing thing to make sure it comes out with the background. It looks a bit more contrasting, actually, so maybe that's the right move. I'm going to go ahead and say that Tony the Tiger, though, is an anatomically correct tiger. So therefore, he should have a black nose because he has no other blue pigment on his body. That doesn't even make sense. Does Morpheus from The Matrix say, what if I told you everything you knew was a lie? Well, I've never seen The Matrix, so I don't think I'm much of a help here. So I'm going to say no. Okay. I don't even know what that means, so... Let's move on. What does Henry VIII hold in his famous portrait? Gloves or a turkey leg? Huh? Why would he be holding a turkey leg? When people took pictures and portraits back then, they didn't even know like what to do with themselves. So why would he be holding a turkey leg? You wouldn't even see that in 2022. If this is turkey leg, I might just end this video right now. Cool. Yeah, why would he hold a turkey leg? Do people actually think that? Okay, what is the correct logo for Volkswagen? Does it have a gap or does it not have a gap? I've never actually thought of this before. It looks to me like it should have the gap. And if you actually sketch it out, V gap W. Whereas here, it's just kind of, well, I guess it's the same thing. I think there's a gap. I really think there's a gap here. Dope, dope. What is the predominant color on Uncle Sam's hat? Uncle Sam, I should know because I'm going to be an Uncle Sam one day. Is it blue or red? Everything in me is saying red. If he has a blue suit on and a white hat, it would only make sense for him to have a red stripe on the hat. Yeah, let's rip it. 
There's no way that's true. What is the name of this singer? Barbara Streisand. I mean, it's definitely Barbara. It's not Barbara. Of course it's not. What is the correct name of this? Jif or Jiffy? I think it's Jif because there's a peanut butter called Skippy. So I don't think there's one called Skippy and Jiffy. They're not just like, woo, yippee, Jiffy, Skippy. See, I'm starting to understand how the Mandela effect's coming into play here. Jiffy is a combination of the two. Jif is just what it actually is. So it's gotta, it's gotta be Jif. Dope. Does C-3PO have a silver leg? I don't know. I've actually like never watched Star Wars. I watched like one or two. I couldn't get into it. I remember him having no silver leg. So as somebody who doesn't actually watch, I think I actually might be more qualified for this. So let's go no. Last but not least, what's the name of the villain from 101 Dalmatians? Uh, Cruella de Vil. Just like that. It's definitely not that. That, that looks so wrong. All right, how do I do on that one? Nine out of 17, so I barely got better than a 50 on that. So together, I got like a 20 out of 29, which is like a 70%, which is okay. It's actually pretty bad. This last quiz is about, do you know real history or are you suffering from the Mandela effect? I think it remains to be seen. Does Curious George have a tail? He's a monkey. Do monkeys have tails? I don't think monkeys have tails because we don't have tails, so no? Nice. In the US, Thanksgiving is always on what Thursday in November? I think it's the last, right? Which is also the fourth, right? Because a month only has 30 days. I think it's last. I don't know, that's not a Mandela effect. I just didn't know that. When did the space shuttle Challenger accident happen? I've never known this. I didn't misremember this. I promise you I've never known this. <laughs> Let's just go 1984. What happened to Tank Man in Tiananmen Square in 1989? He definitely didn't get ran over. He stood in front of the tank until arrested. Yeah, that's what happened. He climbed the tank. That's not true. Did famous preacher Billy Graham die in the 90s? I mean, the way you're wording it, probably not. There we go. What did Forrest Gump say? Uh, life is like a box of chocolates or life was like a box of chocolates? Oh, I don't know, actually. I think he was talking in the past tense. Life was a like a box of chocolate. What did Darth Vader say? Okay, so they want you to say, Luke, I'm your father. I think he actually says, no, I'm your father. Like I said, I've never seen Star Wars, but I've never heard the line, Luke, I am your father. What did the evil queen in Snow White say? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Magic mirror on the wall? Mirror, mirror is the Mandela effect. So it's actually magic mirror. How many people were in the car when JFK was assassinated? Let's see. JFK, his wife, the driver, and a fourth person. So four? Six people? That's not true. I don't care. Like, you can't show me evidence of there being six people in the car. The bunny that just keeps going and going is the Energizer bunny. Uh, okay, last but not least, the classic Mickey Mouse have suspenders. No, he's just got, like, his nipples out. I got a 75%, which is pretty on par with what I've been doing. So I think it's safe to say that I'm about like a C student when it comes to the Mandela effect. Let me know how you guys did. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll see you next video.